cancer is the second leading cause of death in the world. Despite advances in modern medicine, the complete cure for most cancer is still not possible. That's why I will tell you about 10 supplements that help to prevent cancers or reduce cancer progression importantly. We will rank these supplements based on their effectiveness, the types of cancers they are most effective against, and their safety for long-term intake. The first and most studied anti-cancer supplement is curcumin. Curcumin activates the programmed cell death pathway, which helps the body to kill cancer cells. It also suppresses proteins essential for cell proliferation, which is crucial for cancer growth. Also, curcumin has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. Since cancer thrives in an inflammatory environment, the anti-inflammatory action of curcumin poses a problem for cancer cell survival. Curcumin has shown effectiveness against even aggressive cancers like lung cancer and pancreatic cancer. A common dosage curcumin is around 1 to 2 grams per day and it is considered safe for both short and long term intake. However, curcumin absorption is a problem and it is better absorbed when taken with piperin or black pepper. If we rate curcumin's effectiveness as an anti-cancer supplement, it's around 8 out of 10. The second most studied anti-cancer supplement is green tea. Green tea is a strong antioxidant neutralizing free radicals that damage DNA and cause cancer. Additionally, green tea activates apoptosis which helps cancer cells to die while sparing normal cells. Green tea is particularly effective in preventing breast, prostate and colorectal cancers. To get the cancer preventive effects of green tea, you should intake 3 to 5 cups per day. Green tea is around 7 out of 10. And 3. Resveratrol is another important supplement found in red grapes, berries and peanuts. Resveratrol activates proapoptotic genes which selectively kill cancer cells. Resveratrol is also a strong antioxidant and anti-inflammatory agent. To get anti-cancer effects of resveratrol, you should consider consume more than 100 mg per day, which is difficult to obtain solely from resveratrol containing diet, that's why supplementation form is used. For short term safety over several weeks, resveratrol is considered safe. More studies are needed to assess its long term safety. Resveratrol is around 7 out of 10. Berberin is the fourth most important anti-cancer supplement. It interferes with cell cycle and hinders cancer cell division. Additionally, it triggers programmed cell death in cancer cells. Berberin is especially effective for colorectal cancer, gastric and liver cancers. Commonly used dosage is around 1000 mg divided into 3 times per day. Berberin is considered safe for several weeks. However, prolonged usage can elevate liver enzymes, which is an indication of liver inflammation. The fifth supplement is quercetin. Quercetin is a component of common fruits like apple, onions, and berries. It has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and proapoptotic effect, which contribute to its anti-cancer action. Quercetin is especially effective for lung, breast, and colorectal and prostate cancers. The common dosage is up to 1000 mg and is usually considered safe for long-term use because people intake quercetin from their diet for prolonged period. Obtaining enough quercetin from common foods to achieve anti-cancer benefits is usually impossible. For example, you would need to consume around 4 kg of onions to get daily dosage of quercetin. Quercetin is 7 out of 10. The sixth anti-cancer supplement is silymarin or milk thistle, which is well known as a liver protector. It also has anti-cancer action. Silymarin stabilizes the membranes of liver cells and protects them. Additionally, it has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects which indirectly prevents cancer and help during chemotherapy. Silymarin is generally considered safe for short and long term intake. A daily dosage of 400 mg of silymarin is considered safe for long term use. Silymarin is the most effective against liver cancer. Silymarin is around 6 out of 10 
and seventh supplement is omega-3 omega-3 fatty acids reduce inflammation have antioxidant effect and reduce cell proliferation which contributes to their anti-cancer action and slow down the progression of cancers omega-3 also helps to preserve lean mass during chemotherapy and prevent cachexia omega-3 fatty acids are considered safe for long-term intake for optimal benefits a daily dosage of 2 grams is most commonly recommended other supplements are vitamin d probiotics garlic which also have some anti-cancer actions all above mentioned supplements might slow cancer progression or improve treatment effectiveness but they should not be used as a replacement for conventional therapy